Police TV outside ITN, 200 goals on the road, to interview Steve Carsey, the Chief Creative Officer for ITN Productions. Thank you very much for joining us and um, spending some time in answering our questions because this industry is notoriously difficult to get into. So firstly, can we ask you, tell us about your career, where did you start and when, um, where did you end? I, every, every person's story is personal and different. Yeah. Uh, I uh, was a, a passionate writer as a child and as a teenager um, and uh, my early kind of foray into, into the creative industries, the media industries was writing for magazines and, and uh, trying my hand at fiction and running a, running a games company, believe it or not, in, uh, in my late teens. I didn't do the university thing, I was very driven, I knew I wanted to be a writer, I'd already, I was already earning money as a writer, uh, and then I had this opportunity to work in TV, and uh, took the opportunity, and that was 21 years ago, and I haven't been out of work since. But I consider myself a very good team player, a very good collaborator, I think people skills uh, are first and foremost, uh, should be very near the top of the list. Uh, it's a, again, you have to engage with colleagues, you have to be able to interact with uh, experts, talent, yeah. members of the public. Yeah. It, it, it is a team process, it's a people business. And if you don't have those core skills, then frankly everything else is a pointless exercise. And what would you say the challenges have been working the last 20 years in TV? Well, I can, I can split that into two answers. There's the personal challenges that I faced and there's also the industry challenges that we all face. Uh, the personal challenges have been simply a, a case of balancing my personal ambitions and things that I love doing yeah. and I'm good at doing yeah. with the reality of I have to earn a living yes. and having to make those kind of career decisions. Sometimes I might have wanted to take my career in one direction because that's what I would have preferred to have done yeah. but frankly you get to a point in, in your career and as time goes by you, you have to increasingly start sometimes compromising those decisions mm -hmm. with I've got a mortgage, I've got kids, yeah. I've, uh, I've got to be yeah. sensible about what I do yeah. uh, and I think that, 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 kind of, that balance faces everyone in any industry to be honest. The industry challenges have been trying to recognise and preempt and predict what's going to happen next in terms of platforms, in terms of the, how consumers, uh, uh, how viewers and how consumers consume content and consume uh, uh, television and media in all its forms and trying to stay one step ahead of the game and it's very tricky to uh, sometimes second guess what's going to happen. I, you know, five years ago could we have predicted iPad? Well, I don't think so. Yeah, no, exactly. Uh, and I think the people that succeed in the media industries and the creative industries, those people that kind of take risks and see these changes coming early enough to yeah. uh, benefit and uh, profit from them. So, and in 2007, you guys were voted number one entertainment um, YouTube yes. station. Yeah. Um, where do you see the future going? So, for, um, oh, in content. Uh, in terms of content, well, obviously here at ITIM, we are probably best known for being a news organisation. Uh, the name gives it away, really, independent television news. Yeah. But it's uh, it's... We don't restrict ourselves to kind of hardcore news, to pure news. We utilise the resources we have here, the access we have to uh, content from all over the world. Um, we also leverage the ITA name, which stands for trust and authority and uh, integrity. We, we leverage that, those brand values to give us access to institutions and all sorts of other areas. Uh, and because we have all this content coming into the building, the trick is to how to take that content and package it and present it to the world, both on TV, online, via these new mobile platforms, uh, in a way that consumers want to watch it, and, but also are prepared to pay for it, yeah. because we're still a business yeah. when, first, when, yeah. when push comes to shove. So it's trying to kind of marry those commercial, that commercial reality with what we're capable of delivering uh, with something that consumers want, and it's the, those three aspects to the, to the business. If you kind of explore the, Kind of visual, the visual creative industries, most of what you see on television, most of what you see online, and most of what you see in advertising, is, I want to say derivative, that's a negative word, but has been built on what's gone before. Yeah. It's very rare, if you, if you think about it, it's very rare that you see something on television and you go, bloody hell, I've never ever seen that before. Usually, you can usually say, oh yeah, that's a bit like that show from five years ago or from ten years ago. Yeah. So lastly, uh, what would be your top tips for students, young people, people in a career who want to move into the television industry? What would be your top tips to help them through that? Um, perseverance and patience, same thing really. Passion and don't underestimate the importance of people skills. And 
by that I mean it's a relationship driven business. You know, you get employed because you have a relationship with someone who's going to employ you. You sell programs to commissioning editors because you have a relationship with them and it should be a meritocracy. Yeah. The best ideas should get onto TV, yeah. but uh, they uh, very often it's as much about the relationship you have with people. So I think if you want to move into the creative industries, just be patient, keep banging on doors, keep networking with people. Every opportunity you have to meet people or network with people, take those opportunities. If you're moving from one industry to another industry or one career to another career, yeah. expect to have to start at the bottom. Don't have expectations of you know coming into the industry at a, at a really high level. You may even have to take a drop in salary. You may have to kind of put in lots of work experience or do an internship. You might have to kind of for a year or two just you know get your CV out to every production company and get the experience. Um, it is one of those industries, and it's, it remains one of those industries where um, you know uh, training and qualifications are important, but they're not. They're not. There are other ways of getting in the, into yeah. the industry, um, and it's about who you are as much about what you know and, uh, and what yeah. you think. Well, thank you so much for your time. Your advice has been so valuable, and um, I know lots of people will be very thankful for your words. So, thank you very much for your time. No problem. Thank you.